clearly, uh, I think the crisis is over. Uh, what I worry about is that we lose momentum in some of the regulatory changes that we need to go through. Uh, you know, history does repeat itself, and if we don't take action, I mean, we're very focused clearly on important issues, uh, whether it's uh, troops in Afghanistan or health care, but we do need to make changes in our regulatory oversight. We do need a systemic manager that kind of ties everyone together. So I worry that we don't make the progress that we should now that things are better. So that would be my number one worry. I mean, you can go into the very specific asset classes and talk about that, but I don't think that's the overlying issue. What kind of an economic recovery, though, do you see? I mean, do you see a V where we come sharply out of this, or right. do you see something that's going to take longer? I think it's going to take longer. I mean, in the developed countries, uh, Western Europe, the United States, I don't see a lot of growth. I mean, I think things are better. Clearly, the capital markets are dramatically better. People can actually finance, raise money, do deals. But there's very little growth. And, uh, you know, the talk in the United States is, you know, maybe one and a half, two percent growth. That's not very strong. And will it create jobs? So I think we're a ways off uh, in creating jobs. And, and I do think that this is going to be a very slow recovery. Now, that's very different, though, if you go to the emerging markets. I was in Brazil four or five months ago. Uh, they were projecting flat growth, now it's going to be positive growth. I was in China early in the year, I'm going back in November. They're probably talking 8 to 9 percent growth. I was with one of the ministers of interior in India, they're talking 5 to 6 percent growth. So in the new markets, in the emerging markets, there's real growth, and I think that's going to continue. This may get back to your first answer, but when you look at Wall Street, uh, is this a new normal, or are, are the changes that we see on Wall Street, are they deep, are they seminal changes, or are they temporary? Well, I think clearly you have to measure in time. I would think for the next 15 or 20 years, I think they're deep. I can't speak, you know, I really can't speak out uh, 10 years. But clearly there's been a huge change. Uh, leverage has become a big issue. There's a lot of focus on leverage and how much is the right amount of leverage. Uh, Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley are bank holding companies. So now our lead regulator, along with the SEC, is the Federal Reserve. And the Federal Reserve have people in our building and in Goldman's building every day, permanent offices. Uh, there's a lot of testing of models. There's a lot of supervision. That's a very different world than we lived in as little as a year ago. I think all that have real impact in changing the street. Now, the question is going to be, uh, we have U.S. firms and we have international firms. There needs to be a set of standards that each firm has to follow. It cannot be if one bank is in XYZ country and another is in a different country that you have very disparate rules on how to run these businesses. It's a global economy. We compete globally. We need a set of rules and guidelines that everyone should follow. Well, Mac went on to say he'd support having one Uber regulator to oversee banks and financial institutions around the world.